What's up, world? How you guys doing? Happy Friday to you guys. Hope you guys are having a great Friday so far. Hope you had a great week. I know as the weekend approaches, I know we all get excited. But I'm hoping that you guys got some great things planned this weekend and that you enjoy yourself. So I want to talk to you guys today about are you someone that you see other people do things or they have things in them that you know you should be doing? Like, maybe you're someone that, you know, you can sing, you know, maybe you can uh, rap or dance, you know, whatever the case may be, you are afraid to do it because you are worried about what people think about you or what they're going to say. And unfortunately, we live in a world where people will tell you who you should be and what you should do. And I think because of that, we see so many people miss out on their greatness. They miss out on success because they are afraid to be who they really are in front of people. You know, I have a teammate by the name of Matt Hardison, you know, and the one thing that I really love about this guy is that he didn't care where he was, who he was around, what people say. He stayed true to who he was. And I, I love that about this guy. But I challenge you guys today. I challenge you. Whatever that one thing that you see other people doing, I challenge you guys to go do it. Because that one little thing could be holding you back from being successful, from being the way you need to be in life. You know, one of the things I tell people is this, is that, you know, five of your closest friends is what you will become. So that person, you know, uh, uh, that family member or friend that you know that's doing something that's helping them become great, I need you guys to go do it. Another thing I want to tell you guys is this. We all have days where, you know, we just struggle to get through. And we forget what motivates us. We forget what makes, make, what makes us excited. And I challenge you guys today to find that thing, write it down, and look at it every day. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a coworker that, you know, gets you going. Maybe it's a family member, a friend um, that, that, that texts you and motivates you. I don't know what it is. For me, it's quotes. But whatever, whatever it is, I need you guys to think on this thing, the things, each and every day. And especially when you're having a hard time getting through the day. I want to read you guys some of my quotes that, that motivate me, that get me not only through some days, but it helps me dominate the day. Listen to this first quote. Today's decisions are tomorrow's sadness a celebration. I'm going to read it again. Today's decisions are tomorrow's sadness a celebration. The thing that you're doing right now it's only going to bring you happiness. What's going to make you sad? What are you doing right now, today? That's going to be something that you can celebrate the next day. And so on and so on. The next quote is this. This is one of my favorite quotes. It's 24 hours in a day. And what you do with it will determine your success. Listen to this last quote. This is the last quote. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. And the last thing that I want to tell you guys is believe in you. Because if you don't believe in you, nobody else will. But this is what I want to tell you guys. If success is in the routine, like everything you do daily, if success is in that, why not put believing in you a part of that routine? I encourage you guys to find that one thing that motivates you, that gets you excited, that not only gets you through the day, but helps you dominate the day. I need you guys to find that, write it down, and make sure you look at it each and every day. Hope you guys enjoyed this message. Have a great weekend, guys. Dream big, little big.